It's so loud. <laughs> Construction, garbage trucks. Oh, I know this is this is reality TV, right? Yeah. yeah, it's true. Yeah, exactly. Um, this was really the start of reality TV, and of course, it's true. It's just gone exponentially crazy. I now. know. What do you think we got ourselves into? Oh my goodness. Well, I don't know. I, I personally, selfishly, only as one individual watching, I've always felt that reality television is an oxymoron. I mean, honestly, once you introduce a camera into an experiment, it alters the experiment. The cameras do change people's um, comfort and intentions, and everybody wants to come off either dramatic or not boring or smart or clever or not cowardly or a million things. And so we're always trying to look however we're trying to look, and the cameras definitely change the stakes. Being in the 70s, you yeah. were young then, but just the fashion yeah. and what that was with the memories of the 70s and the yeah. fashion back then. I was great. I was covered in peace patches and, you know, making fun of Nixon. And uh, I just remember being a little kid with no front teeth and watching this. Everybody was talking about an American family and an American family and divorce and what a stigma it was. And I didn't realize that they were talking about a TV show. I thought they were just talking about an American family. And my, I was a child of divorce, so. I felt like they were talking about me, and and now I realize it's so interesting, you know, because I worked at the La Mama Theater in 1971 and 72 when Lance Loud was there, and our film shows him there, and I think I was in the next room over at seven years old working with um, this avant-garde theater production of, of the Greek tragedies, so go figure.